this video is how to withdraw money from your royal q account so you click on your royal q account um i'm going to show you you go to mine and then when you go to mine you go to assets when you go to assets you can see the deposit button the withdraw button and transfer button so you can transfer internally to another royal q user or account and you can as well withdraw or deposit so i'm going to be uh withdrawing uh 100 usd from here to my binance theta balance because the trade is done with theta united state dollar okay so we'll quickly click on withdrawal so if i was depositing i will click on deposit okay so um chain name trc20 address quantity uh transaction password uh verification code uh transaction fees arrival quantity okay so um i'll quickly go to binance uh, when you log into your binance you click on this avatar up here so when you click on the avatar when i say avatar please look at this avatar up here when you clean all the avatar uh, you can see my account is verified try and verify your account if you want to if you don't you can still make a, a minimum withdrawal of up to two three one btc daily without verification so quickly we'll go to wallet the second option wallet uh we we'll go to wallet overview so when you go to wallet overview um you will see um all the uh, things you can do so i want to do what i want to withdraw I want to deposit money it's not withdraw so i'm going to click on deposit because i want to deposit money into so they're asking me if i want to select a way to deposit crypto deposit fiat deposit so i want to do crypto deposit so i want to deposit united states um dollar theta okay so we're going to choose coin quickly i choose usdt okay uh choosing usdt i'll select network uh, remember network has to be compatible uh there is trc20 so you pick the last one trc20 okay uh -huh. so we copy this address this is my theta address okay so i've copied it so i'm going to go back to the royal q app and then enter my address all right enter the quantity i want to transfer 100 usdt okay so i'll enter my transaction password um so this is my transaction password i've entered it and then i will confirm fees is um two usdt and then arrival quantity is 98 usdt so i'll confirm uh please set the transaction password first okay i have never set my transaction password before guys so i'm going to set my transaction password because i've never done that um and i hope it's safe doing that while um on this app okay so i'll go back to mine i'll go to system settings mm -hmm. i'll change uh, my transaction mm -hmm. password um, 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 enter old transaction password enter new transaction password okay um i can't even remember what um um the old transaction password is okay um the eyes okay um i'm going to okay um okay uh, let me see okay so i think i got that successfully uh passwords are things that whenever you remember them you always won't have issues with them so i'll quickly go back to the withdrawal um my withdrawing or depositing yes i'm withdrawing so i'll go back to um here to copy this address and then i'll quickly come back to put the address um quantity um okay because i have 121 i want to withdraw 101 um okay 101 is cool so i'll confirm uh, please enter the six digit band transaction password
okay um this enter verification code so verification code will always be sent to your email it's very important you go back to your email and get your verification code guys these are security so even if someone get your password they still need your your email to get that so they can't easily hack your account okay um so um so the react you up don't mind I have a lot of things going on on this phone okay so i'll put it and then i'll confirm so sent successfully so guys i just transferred 99 usd out of this account to um to my binance account so let me see has it been deducted okay so it's going to arrive there shortly um it's going to arrive there shortly so this is how exactly to uh, make your withdrawals okay so it will arrive here soon and it will be on the fiat um, data balance so um, thank you for watching like the video subscribe the video and for follow updates okay so i'll quickly uh, run on how to do peer-to-peer -peer. for those who keep asking me how to do peer-to-peer -peer, uh, for you to do peer-to-peer -peer, you have to go to order are you seeing order uh, but let me not use peer-to-peer -peer order let's use um i'm coming um let's use um let's go back to the main menu okay so um the main menu let's go and click on trade okay so you locate peer-to-peer -peer. so when you locate peer-to-peer -peer, um the peer-to-peer -peer, you will now choose if you want to buy um any coin uh peer-to-peer -peer simply means i transfer to a merchant or a person who is selling this asset and they transfer to me what i'm selling or i transferred the coin to them they send naira or i transferred naira and they send the coin to me so that's what peer-to-peer -peer means so you click on usdt if it's usdt is the coin you want to buy or you can click on btc depending on what you want to buy but let's use usdt because that is what we use in rare queue so you quickly will click on usdt and then click on this sign here okay if you click on this sign it will show you parameters so you enter amount you want to sell let's assume i want to sell um okay let me leave that first um i will choose bank transfer as my option of payment and then i will scroll down and choose the currency i'm going to be paying for uh i choose naira i'll be paying for uh um, um for the usdt so let's say i'm buying 50 uh let's say i'm buying 163,000. 163,000 naira worth so i'm just simply going to confirm so when i confirm this i'm filtering out the sellers accept the risk i'm filtering out sellers who has this usdt so you can see that this first person has um a limit of 50,000 to 200,000 so he this person fits it into what i want if i fill in the order for this i will get this okay so uh, this person to um, fits in. So please always check that the person fits in. If the person has a minimum of minimum of um, an order rate of one hundred and sixty four or sixty five thousand, I won't be able to buy from the person. But the minimum l uh, limit they can sell is fifty thousand naira to two hundred thousand naira. So this can go for me. So and it came because I set the parameters. So you can see. So once I put in one hundred and sixty three thousand. You see, automatically I will receive 319 USDT. So if I buy, if I click on buy, it will process and send me page to transfer money to the seller. If I transfer money to the seller, they uh, then the second page will be confirmation page waiting for me to receive USDT. Once I receive, I will confirm that I receive. Guys, peer-to-peer uh, -peer is very secure except if you don't follow the rules. Number one, the seller will never release coins to you if they don't receive their money. And number two, Binance has already locked in this coin. The moment the seller indicates here that they want to sell this coin and then you fill this order binance has taken these coins from this person and hold it in their reserve waiting for actions to be completed so it doesn't belong to the owner it doesn't either belongs to you until two of you meet the, meet the terms and then binance will release coins to you and really and you have paid the person the money so the same process follows when you are as well trying to to sell okay so follow the same process guys 
so thank you for your time and um, like my video subscribe please always subscribe on my video on my channel because i have a lot of exciting opportunities i present in my channel thank you very much for your time guys